Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Ticket. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing five great hidden features that every Samsung Galaxy owner needs to know. So let's dive in and get started right away. Now, before we dive in, if you're wondering where to get this amazing wallpaper that you just saw in the very beginning of the video, what I'll do is I'll drop a link down to this uh, wallpaper. So click the link down below. It's going to take you to my website. And when you scroll down just a little bit, this is going to be wallpaper number one, known as source code tech. You click this, it takes you to the Samsung store, you download and you apply and you are going to be good to go. It should be free. But anyway, let's dive in and discover some great hidden features for your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. Now, the very first feature I want to talk about is known as the pin to screen feature that can be found in the edge panels under the smart select panel. Now you may know about this panel already, but I bet you you have not used the pin to screen option for a long time. So first let me show you how it works and then I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set it up in case you do not know. So here's an example. I'm gonna show you an, an actual example so you get the point. So let me just go to the website and here's the price uh, for a Tesla Model 3. And then we also have a bunch of cars at the bottom with their pricing. So let's say I want to do some mathematics on these numbers, but I want to I don't want I can't remember all these numbers for all these three cars listed here. What I can do is I can pull in my panel over here, okay? That's the smart select panel. I can tap on pin to screen and I can choose a specific area of the actual screen just like that, and then I can tap pin to screen. Now that's going to be pinned to the top of the screen and it's got all the prices that I want. Now what I can do is I can go back over here to my application drawer. By the way, I can move this anywhere that I want. I can launch my calculator and then I can bring this back up over uh, over here. Okay, let's say I put it over here and let's start doing some math. Okay, 69,420 plus, just an example, 49,990. So that's the total cost of these two cars. Again, this is just an example, but you get the point. You are able to pin something onto your screen so you can refer to it, and then you can use that data on another application, and you can use this for any combination of applications. This is a brilliant little tactic. Now, by the way, when you're done with this, you tap on it, okay, and you can either maximize it, you can download this, you can actually save this, Okay, I can just save that to the image gallery or another example, uh, if I, let's just use this as an example, it's pinned to the top, I can tap on it and it just exit out. Okay, so that is absolutely fantastic little hidden productivity tool. Now real quick, if you want to use that tool, you want to go to your settings, you want to go into your display, okay, you want to go down just a little bit. Under Edge Panels, you want to make sure these are enabled, obviously. You want to go inside. When you go to Panels, the Smart Select should be available right here. You simply enable Smart Select, and you are going to be good to go. If you cannot find Smart Select here, tap on Galaxy Store. It'll take you to the store, and it's going to be somewhere over here. Just go for Top Free, and it's going to be somewhere in here. I have a feeling it's just going to be built in, okay? So that is a great little feature, the pin to screen feature that I use all the time for reference. Let's move on to the next tactic. All right, so the next hidden feature has to do with the keyboard. So let me launch my Samsung Notes application right over here, uh, just to use an example. And I have some text right over here. And here's the hidden feature. It's the actual space bar right over here. So basically, normally when you want to move the cursor around, you can use your fingers but sometimes it is not as precise as you want it to be. So what you can do is you can use the space bar. All you do is press and hold and actually becomes a cursor controller if you keep pressed and hold, okay? And then you can take that cursor and control it and put it anywhere you want with super uh, precision. As you can see, I can go up, down, left, right, wherever you want to put it, okay? So you can use this cursor control with the space bar right over here. Simply press and hold and put it anywhere that you want. And it's going to work in basically any application where there's a text field that you can input into. Now, one more thing, a related hidden feature is also right here. What you do is you tap on these three dots right here. And over here, we also have a text editing 
uh, feature that's built into the keyboard. You tap on this one, and now what you get is you also get a little joystick right over here to also control that cursor and put it exactly where you uh, want it. But here, in addition, what you can do is you can, for example, uh, select with laser precision any part of this paragraph. Now this is a very small paragraph, I'm just using this as an example, but basically let's say I want to select this right here, they, and I want to copy it. So I go over there, okay, I tap on select, then I tap this again, and I can now select that. I can cut, copy, or paste. Let's just do a cut as an example. I can come over here, and I can just paste it, okay? Look at how precise that whole thing is you can use an actual joystick to control the whole thing. This is gonna be great for precision editing and stuff like that. Let's move on to the next hidden feature. Now the next hidden feature actually hides under the developer options all the way at the bottom. Now this menu itself is normally turned off. Some people know how to turn this on, some people don't. So if you don't know how to turn this uh, developer options on, let me first show you how to get that done and then we'll talk about the hidden feature that's hiding inside here that is actually amazing. So what you do is you go to your about phone and then you go to software information and then over here you tap on the bill number seven times, okay? Now it says mine is already turned on but in your case it is gonna actually turn it on. So then when you go back into your main settings at the bottom you'll see developer options at the bottom. Now once you click this there is a really powerful feature hidden right here. What you want to do is you want to scroll down a little bit. Under Demo Mode, you're going to see Quick Setting Developer Tiles. Now you click on this one, and here's the one I'm talking about, the Sensors Off feature. So let me just disable that for a minute. So here I'm going to enable, by default, you have to enable Sensors Off. Once you enable this, you are going to see a new option on the top right here in the control panel that also says Sensors Off. Now here's the magic of this little toggle, it is powerful. The moment I click on this, every tracking sensor on my phone gets turned off, which also eliminates any apps spying on you. This is a way to go off the grid. You can still make phone calls, but the phone disables all the microphones, all the cameras, the gyroscopes, the accelerometer, the proximity sensor, and the ambient light sensor, and any other sensor that's built into your phone. So for example, if I go out right now and I tr try to launch the camera, what it's gonna tell me is it's gonna say security policy prevents the use of camera because I have turned off all the sensors on the phone. Now there is a side benefit to this. It does end up saving you a lot of battery. The reason is because now all the sensors that usually need battery are all turned off and the phone can save, give you a little bit more juice, maybe an extra 30 minutes of battery life. Of course, it does make many features on the phone obsolete, but like I said, it's a great way to hide yourself completely. All the sensors go off, okay? So all you have to do is go in here and turn them on. Now the other feature I wanna talk about that's also hidden also has to do with this menu. You go down just a little bit more, okay? And this is gonna be, applicable mostly to people that have a higher refresh rate phone. Uh, some phones have a 60 hertz refresh rate, some phones have 120, some of them have a variable refresh rate. So what you do is right here, you say show refresh rate, on the top it shows it, 120 hertz, okay? So based on what kind of phone you have, if I go into my display, and if I go into and change my refresh rate, now it's gonna show the standard. When I click apply, now it's 60. Uh, hertz refresh rate, all right? So that's another great little hidden feature. Uh, with adaptive, by the way, uh, when I stop using the phone, if I don't touch it for a little bit, you'll notice it goes back to 60 to save battery, so you can monitor things like these with the show refresh rate option. Absolutely incredible, okay? By the way, if you turn these on and you never need them, you don't need them in the future, you just turn them off. You tap on it, the developer options and all the settings just get turned off automatically, okay? Now it's gone, you'd have to go back and re-enable it, all right? All right, so that brings us to the final tactic for this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And again, if you want this gorgeous wallpaper that I showed you in the beginning of the video, the link's gonna be down below, all right? For now, guys, have a fantastic day.
All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.